Good morning, my friends. This is Krebs here, and today I'm going to be showing you some War Thunder footage of the P-51 Mustang. This beastly plane that is held in such high regard to many expert opinions, and also my opinion as well, although I'm not an expert at all when it comes to the historical aspect of things, but if we're talking about the game, I, I really do like this plane. I don't see any problems with it. But uh, historically speaking, this plane is held in high regard because it's one of these later model planes in the European theater, which was just fantastic in so many manners. Uh, it had incredible speed at high altitude, especially when it eventually got its Merlin engine. Initially when it was developed, it had an Allison engine and it was limited to around 300 or so miles per hour when it was at high altitudes, and then it was replaced by a Merlin engine, that giving it about 400 miles per hour not more at high altitudes, making an incredible plane. This is the D model of the P-51 uh, Mustang, and so it does include the uh, Ber Merlin engine on it. Had incredible range, uh, incredible speed, good turn time, uh, near enough everything was great about it. Um, it's armament, 650 cal machine guns, which is plenty. And so anyway, what I'm going to be showing you guys in this footage is a Wii game that I had just yesterday on it. And I thought it was a pretty exceptional game. It was, uh, the room was about half full. I was playing early in the morning. So, gotta expect that, I guess. <laughs> Not many people are going to be playing this game uh, so early in the morning. Everyone else has priorities, you know, <coughs> work and <coughs> whatever else. I had a day off, so hence I'm playing with this Mustang. An absolutely brilliant plane. I, I do like it. It has very good uh, speeds on it. And when it comes to uh, playing it in the game, you can a lot of times lose your opponents just by outspeeding them. However, the one drawback that I do have with it is not the best uh, turn fighter out there. And that's due to the laminar uh, wings. The laminar flow wings. Basically, you have different sort of wings, right? The laminar flow wings is basically where the thickest part of the wing isn't necessarily at the start, the beginning, or the end of it. It's actually in the middle, and you'll notice this when you're looking at the wings. Uh, the thickest part is in the middle, and that allows to reduce the drag and increase the speed most effectively. But at the same time, since you're going to have a higher speed, um, you're not going to be able to turn as much. And since this game is arcade-ish, you're going to be up against, you know, say, Brit planes whilst you're as an American. Uh, it's not really historically accurate, so you're gonna have basically Spitfires, which are able to outturn you when you're flying in a Mustang. Yes, very, very, very historically accurate. <laughs> but uh, that's what happens, and so whenever you get into engagements where you're turn fighting, a Spitfire is no doubt gonna be winning uh, against you. But when it comes to pure raw speed, Mustang, <laughs> next to none, nothing can beat it unless it's a jet. It's just so rapid, so fast. Uh, can easily get away from a lot of opponents. So, as you can see here, taking on a variety of planes, I don't have my stealth ammo out, and hence you can see these tracers. It's just the default belts that I have at the moment for the Mustang. Kind of unfortunate because I actually prefer the stealth ammo on every single plane that I play out on because the stealth ammo, no tracers in it, save uh, means just I'm dishing out more rounds of lethal uh, weaponry as I shoot. And also just has a different loadout as well. A lot of times the stealth ammo will have AP rounds, incendiary. And those AP rounds, in my opinion, make a huge difference. A lot of times I'll be shooting down or shooting out pilots, knocking them unconscious. I don't know why it comes with the message. Pilot has is unconscious. Uh, I think they're probably more dead, if anything. If they're just losing control and never wake up again. But, okay. Um, I prefer those because it seems to just ripple right through the uh, enemy plane, goes through their pilot, knocks them unconscious, and that's it. They're dead. So getting a variety of kills at the moment, I've got two 1,000 pound bombs on this plane. Another great feature of it. Allowing me to not only uh, take on enemy fighters and bombers, whatever else, but I can bomb targets. That is cool. So two two rolls, and you're going to see me do this right on throughout the game, where I'm going to be dropping my, my bombs, getting a few ground target kills here and there. Not a lot, obviously. I mean, you can't expect me to be like a bomber, but every now and then, why not? Get a few ground target kills, support the team. And now I'm trying to uh, get onto the six of this. Uh, what the hell is that? Was that a. Uh, 
Was that? Uh, I can't even see because I'm I'm, I'm on a smaller screen right, screen right now. I think that was uh, FW 190, if I'm seeing that right. A Fokker Wolf. Yeah, I think so. Just getting behind him, no problem. And just all these dogfights. This is the sort of thing. I, I don't know. I I prefer games with more people in them, but at the same time, it's not necessarily bad to have games with less people in them. A half a half full room or half empty room. Because it just means that uh, it's not going to be so much as a, a clusterfuck, okay? So you're not going to be necessarily going into massive dogfights and being killed instantly. You're going to be able to single out your targets and fight more effectively if you're more into one-on-one -on -one fights. Which I think I actually am. One-on-one, -on -one, one on two, I can do that. But as soon as it's a big dogfight, your chance to survive a lot less... Uh, Less capable. So, taking on the uh, Spitfire over here, kind of a little bit worried because I'm faster than him. In this Mustang, it's easy to overshoot. And you know what, guys? That's uh, that's uh, that brings up another interesting point. There's a lot of stuff you can talk about historically about this plane, and I think rather than sparing myself uh, talking about the history, and since I'm kind of limited to how long this video is going to be, what I'm going to do is in the description box below, I'm going to actually link some videos on YouTube from the TV show Showdown and also Dogfights where they talk about the P-51 Mustang. Not only about its capabilities but also the history, also uh, some real real life examples of uh, stories of people who used some aces who used the P-51 Mustang. So go ahead and check out those videos, very interesting to actually watch them. I, I think it's very intriguing to hear the stories of the actual pilots in them. I have a choice between a Spitfire and a BF-109. I see that the BF-109 and another Spitfire on my team ended up crashing into each other. No point of going for that, so go for the guy in the back, the Spitfire over here. He's all one of his lonesome. No doubt probably going to die sometime soon. Ah, but he's got speed. He's got the elevation advantage. Just kill assist after kill assist. Five kills, air assist kill streak. God damn it. Frustrating indeed. I think it just comes down to the armament of the P-51 Mustang though. It's 650 cal machine guns, okay? Tier 13. Uh, at tier 13, I think it's a little bit underpowered. It's not the most powerful thing out there. You're gonna have a lot of planes that are gonna have cannons available to them, whether that's 20 millimeters or 37 millimeters. They're gonna have them, whereas I'm stuck to 12.7 millimeter uh, machine guns. Okay, at least I got six of them on the, on the positive side. But another big addition to that is just, as I was saying previously, the ammo ammo belts. I'm using just my default one, which I don't feel is as powerful as the stealth ammo. More bombs. More bombs uh, are here. Okay, so we got a bowfighter and some other point to choose from. Go for the bowfighter because I see that he's singled out and flying towards our, our side. But finding it a bit difficult to catch up to him. Okay, I'm, I've got about 400 kilometers per hour but he's got he's, he must have more speed than me he must have been diving down and that's why he had more speed but anyway he crashed probably got his tail damaged or something now choosing up my targets what am I gonna go for next overall it looks pretty decent for us we've got more uh, ground target kills than they do and overall it looks like they're having a tougher time staying alive so uh, just wondering what I should do. Wondering what the heck should I do at the moment. Planes flying on by me. I absolutely love the decals I got on this plane. Uh, why have I never seen anyone do this before? I mean, come on. This is when you got when you got nice pictures of ladies. You might as well just take advantage of it and show off the parts that actually matter, right? You know, who cares about the face? Who cares about the uh, the feet? It's the parts that matter. <laughs> Yeah, why not? Just being, uh, having a little bit of fun. BF-109 E3. Oh, man. Wanna take you down, wanna take you down. Set him on fire. He's on scor scorched. But, again, one of the features of the Mustang. It just, it's so fast. Almost, almost overtook him there. Had to actually do, uh, a bit of a corkscrew. The laggy maneuver right there. So I could come on top of him again. <laughs> oh dear. I think one of my teammates actually crashed into him and ended up crashing into the mountain. So, 7 kills, 0 deaths at the moment. 
Not bad, not bad. Still got these two bombs to work with. Not really sure where I'm going to drop them. And it's all about just selecting your, your targets. Man, I got so many kills this, this match. Kind of frustrating when it comes down to that, isn't it? When you got more kill assists, well, I've got more kills than kill assists, but my kill assists are almost matching my kills. Uh, that's the life of uh, of a pilot sometimes, it just depends on which games you're going into. You Junkers 80, Junkers 87 over here, easy target. He's a sitting duck, essentially. I'll get behind him here, look at that. Look at that, he's just a sitting duck, he's so slow! He's a diver. I'm trying to come up behind him, but he's still got the advantage because he's been diving, uh, and I've just uh, turned around. Mind you, I've got these bombs on me, so they're going to be weighting me down as well. Reselect my targets to the ME-410, because why not? A little bit dangerous though, because he's got uh, that back gunner on him. And as you can see, the back gunner getting a little bit of damage onto my right wing. And I just got another kill assist for fuck's sake. Six kill assists now. ME410, you better be my kill. You better be my kill. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> seven kill assists, seven kills. So there's not much more that's going to happen in this uh, match. I'm just going to go ahead and take out a pillbox, bomb some other targets. And generally, we're going to actually win this match. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to post the uh, actual rewards that I got for this game right now so i hope you guys enjoyed this and until next time i will catch you all later right here we go three two one